baby. Wow, wow. This is great. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is awesome. What a great looking crowd. Before I get started, though, I think we need to say something to uh, Ian and Stan, the best bartenders in Vegas. Give it up to the guys, man. Woo! Yeah. Well, anyway, I, uh, I got up this morning and I got to thinking, what if? People said, God bless you every time you farted. Think about that. That would be a little different, wouldn't it? You're going to, oh, rip it. Oh, oh, my God. God bless you. Now, I got to bring in women because we all know I've been married 30 years. Women do not fart, right? We know that they don't. I don't know if you go to a secret farting place or what. I don't know what you do. But I can just imagine a woman, a gorgeous woman in a wedding dress, and she's sitting with the groom. And, and before she goes on, she just does one of these and hikes her leg and just rips a nasty one. And she gets a God bless you. Well, anyway, I guess you can tell from the hat that I'm probably from Texas. Uh, Got to tell you, I, I, uh, I, I grew up in Texas, and I'm only 5'8". Everything is, in Texas is big. They kicked me out. I was too small. Of course, Vegas, they'll take anybody. So I'm here at Vegas. Went to school on what was called Texas A&I. &I. I was the only white guy in the band, okay, in the marching band, in the stage band. Uh, our fight song, believe this or not, was in Spanish. I think I still remember some of it, but you don't want me to hit, sing it, I know. And uh, the national debate topic when I was on the debate team, listen to this. In 1979, the national debate topic in the United States of America was protecting our borders and our relationship with Mexico. That turned out real nice, didn't it? Still have some issues. Still have some issues. Um, I got a friend, uh, Richard, he's going out to the ATM. He's going to pay all you guys $20 if you, if you laugh tonight. Yeah, there you go. He's not very dependable. His last name, Richard, is probably what you might get. But uh, anyway, so um, I would like to say I noticed that Oprah Winfrey, I love Oprah Winfrey. She's great, but Oprah has lost it. She's either run out of material or lost it. I went online, and her book club... She's got these new books. I printed them out. These books, these topics for these books, they're crazy. They don't make sense. She's lost it. I'm telling you, she's lost it. Um, here's some of the books I'll run them by real quick. Eat, Run, Stay Fit, and Die Anyway. Rid Yourself of Doubt, or Should You? Chances Your Sister is Full of Shit. The Stains on Your Pants Can Indicate Your Future. Complete List of Things Still Pending. 64 Reasons for Giving Up Hope. A Thousand Dead People Nobody Misses. What to wear on the toilet. Uh, tremble your way to fitness. What's Oprah thinking? I love her, but she's, she's got to come up with something different. Hire the handicap, but don't let them take your rectal temperature. Okay. Um, apartment hunting for devil worshippers. Six ways to screw up before breakfast. Sport fishing with power saws. How to turn unbearable pain into income. I gave up hope, died, and it worked. How to organize a Tupperware gangbang, Tupperware gangbang. How to spot vicious people in church. Lady Gaga's tits are made of aluminum and why all nuclear waste should be deposited in Kim Kardashian's ass. Yeah, anyway. Oh, well, anyway, so that's how that goes. I get tired of mean people. I don't like mean people. I drive the speed limit a lot of times and I got a fast car in the right-hand lane and there's three lanes and people still want to ride right up my rear end. I want to get one of these, I want to get one of these 007 things that shoot, I don't know, oil or nails in people's tires. So anyway, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. You guys come up first time. L let me end up real quick. I only got a minute. Let me end up one quick, quick. Let me do something that's kind of different. It's motivational. It's from a movie. It's a little monologue. Let me see if I can remember it. It, it gets me motivated a little bit too. Let me try it. It's kind of serious. It's not funny. You know, when things got hard... You started looking for something to blame, like some big shadow or something. Now, let me tell you something. You probably already know. The world ain't all rainbow and sunshine. Life can be a very mean and nasty place. But you know what? Nothing's going to hit you harder, and I don't care how tough you are, than life. It will knock you down to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. Now, you, me, or nothing is going to hit harder than life. 
And it's not how hard you hit. It's how many hard hits you get and keep moving forward. It's how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, you say you know what you're worth? Then every one of you in here, go out and get what you're worth. But be willing to take the hits. Be willing to take the hits and not to point the finger at him, her, or that, or anybody else that you ain't where you ought to be. Cowards do that. You're better than that. You know you are. So everybody raise your glass. And tonight when you leave, kick fear and failure in the ass. Cheers. Thank you very much for letting me try. Nice job.